You might remember him as the Blue Power Ranger or for his roles on One Tree Hill, That's So Raven, or Bring It On. But at heart, he's all about being a Hampton Roads native and giving back. He's opened a film and production studio in Chesapeake and is eager to bring some Hollywood magic to the area. Actor, producer, and filmmaker Michael Copon is this week's I Am Hampton Roads. My name is Michael Copon, and I am the uh, CEO of Michael Copon Studios and Fibonacci Films. Well, actually, born in Norfolk, raised in Chesapeake, and um, uh, went to Deep Creek High School. Yeah. I remember the first time, like, my agent said, you should try out for movies. I'm like, you can act and you can try out for movies? They're like, Mike, it's Hollywood. I'm like, yeah, but I'm from Deep Creek. <laughs> you don't understand. Like, I didn't even know that was possible. I thought people just got lucky and were put in movies. I started off as a Power Ranger, and this is my helmet. Uh, after that, I, I moved, uh, I did a show called That's So Raven. I was the Boys in Motion boy band. Um, and then shortly after that, I got on the show One Tree Hill that shot in North Carolina. I played Felix, who was a series regular. And then from there, I've done um, CSI, Bring It On. Uh, I was the lead of Scorpion King 2, a lot for Universal Pictures. Um, and Reno 911, Hawaii 5 I just finished up uh, last year. And, and now I moved home to start a movie studio to shoot our own films, which I just recently sold my first film to Lionsgate called Killer Holiday. About six years ago, I saw the industry changing. You know, uh, with, the, with the internet being what it is, uh, the, there was reality shows were hitting out big. Um, production costs were cheaper for reality. Um, production costs were cheaper to do webisodes. And the content was more about quantity over quality nowadays. It's just about getting stuff out there on a frequent basis. I learned then if I didn't learn the production side, in about 10 years, I'd be, I'd be lost. Only six actors have made it from here. Mark Ruffalo, Wanda Sykes, Bob Saget, and a couple more. But uh, seeing that I was one of those people, you know, like if I don't do this, like who will, you know? And that's kind of like what kind of opened my mind to say, I have to do this. I came back here because my whole family lives here. Literally my dad, my mom, all their brothers and sisters, all, all of my cousins, their kids, I, everyone that I know lives here. So when we shoot, I literally have a crew of 30 to 50 people that just come out and help for free because they just want to help support me because they're my family. There isn't really much going on here that's a, a direct connection to Hollywood. And that's why I wanted to open up Michael Copon Studios right here in Chesapeake, my hometown. We teach acting classes on Saturdays. Um, we offer music production, uh, uh, movies. We could shoot your movies. Uh, Pretty much anything production or across the board, even music production. This studio is right now is uh, small compared to my vision and my brain. Uh, I, I envision this entire street here to be the next Paramount Studios and buying up all these, you know, buildings and warehouses and having golf carts driving around here, having multiple productions going on. Yeah, we'll just film here right now. That's what I'm trying to do is get everyone to come together as a whole, build something here, whether it be a football team, whether it's a music studio that would draw in tourism, draw in people to pour money into our state, which will stay in our state. And in Virginia will be a place I see in the next 10 years that people go to, like New York, like, uh, like Miami. I want it to be that place, and I want to be one of the leaders that helps make that happen. What's up? I'm Michael Copon, CEO of Michael Copon Studios, and I am Hampton Roads. Pretty cool. He has some big visions for this area in, in terms of bringing more entertainment and production here. So that's cool. kind of cool. I think that's exciting for a lot of people. You know, the, the Blue Power Ranger was always my favorite. Really? I didn't know you were a Power Ranger Only fan. Only because I like blue. <laughs> Good All stuff, right. Michael. Okay. All right. If